Welcome to another First Beer Tactical Gear review video. So today we've got something that's fairly low minor, shall we say, on the list of important considerations if you are an active military or anything like that. But something nevertheless you're going to want to get right if you are mounting all sorts of things to a helmet. Uh, and they're probably going to be expensive, quite crucial things. So we've got the First Beer op Hybrid Opscore cover. All right, now I've got it fitted to the Carbon Opscore. They make versions for the for the Ballistic, for the Maritime, pretty much whatever Opscore you want. Get, get in touch with First Beer, then we'll have a cover that's going to suit your particular lid. So why do you want a helmet cover on your helmet? Primarily to change the coloration of it, change the pattern. Uh, that's the main thing, realistically. You're, you're also going to protect the finish of the helmet a little bit. Um, save a ballistic helmet from getting chips and dents to a small extent. You will dampen noise slightly, not a big deal. It's primarily that uh, changing color. And if you happen to have a helmet that didn't have loop on the outside, you've then got that loop on there. So materials wise, we've got Tweed Dura Stretch, which is a very, very high end fabric, like almost too high end for a helmet cover. This is like soft shell jacket material and good soft shell jacket material at that. Then you've got mesh on the sides, really heavy pile loop, like this is thick stuff. Normally the loop first beer use on their products is really thin, low profile, but this, this stuff is thick. Like once something's attached to this, it is not coming off. As long as it's got a decent hook on the back of it, it is staying on there. When you buy the cover, it will come with little discs of some really high tenacity, shall we call it, um, hook. So you've got four discs, you've got two in the rear, and then you, you stick those in. They're, they're 3M, you know, they're, they're never going to come undone. You've got a couple more on the front, on the inside. You just stick those in. Your harness system on the helmet goes back in there and you're sorted. And the fitment of this is absolutely solid. Being all stretch fabrics, it's a really close fitment for, for airborne ops, for guys jumping, for guys doing maritime stuff, underwater, whatever the hell it is, this is not going anywhere. Apart from your four points of attachment going around over the edges to the inside, you've also got a hook that pretty much mirrors the loop on the outside and that hook interfaces with the loop that comes supplied on the helmet. So it's all stuck down on the outer surface as well. And that is not, uh, it's just not going anywhere basically. Give you an idea of how good this loop is, is my Opscore counterweight pouch full of lead weights. If I just slap that on the back of there, I have tested this out running around and it's just not, it's just not coming off. Like, obviously if you want maximum security, you take the little Hyperlon tabs and you attach them to the screws on the back of the arc rails, but you really don't need it. The, uh, the loop on here is, is that good. The Velcro interface, um, if you're not jumping, uh, if you're not doing some crazy halo type shit, then that will honestly do the job. Only minor gripe I could maybe think of was that the only one of the holes, if you don't have a ballistic helmet and you do have the base jump or the carbon as I've got here and they've got the vent holes, the, the loop blocks one of them. One is partly exposed with the mesh. The other two are covered by the tweave, mm. but the tweave is very breathable fabric anyway. So yeah, uh, so not the end of the world on that one. Obviously you've got tons of loop on the outside for mounting all your infrared blinky things, SNS stuff that goes flash, flash, bleep, bleep, all that good shit. Stitching's immaculate, as you'd expect, high stitch per inch count, neatly done, immaculately fitted to the helmet. Everything fits just absolutely spot on. And yeah, that, nothing more else to say on this, guys. It's a helmet cover, comes in a few different colors so you can choose what you want. All the usual options are there, sized, for whatever size of ops core you want to fit it to. Link to the First Bear website where you can pick these up will be down in the description. Check that out. Uh, I'll have my social media links down there. Post on Facebook and Instagram all the time, more than I do these videos. So if you want to see more gear stuff like this, check out those links. Feel free to subscribe if you want to see more gear review videos. And all that remains to say is thanks for coming by. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.